Welcome to foggy Georgia. Today we're just kind of cruising around, been waiting patiently for the weekend, and uh, it's been freaking raining. Stop here for gas here a little bit, and then we're going to go over to the Clarks Hill Lake area. Maybe get a coffee or something, you know what I mean? Enjoy our morning. Stop and get some fuel here. So I had an issue with the bike earlier. And I didn't get it on camera just just because I was kind of, you know, I was too busy trying to figure it out instead of just like first thing to do is bust out the the Karen camera. But my screen wouldn't turn on. <laughs> it wouldn't block. So got on the the old Google machine and looked up you know reasons and fixes and <laughs> took me a couple minutes to figure it out but I got it got it going hopefully it turns back on because if not I'll be screwed because I got to get home now you know I just feel like I just keep up with traffic if anything the bike runs fine without the screen it's just it's just kind of like what the f man just tap that real quick no, I'm not a member and I don't want to be. But anyway, we'll get some fuel and then we'll go get a Red Bull, as always. And then right out to the uh, the dam in the lake area. $14. Thank you. You're welcome. The bag comes with a special spot for Red Bull, so it just fits right there. Look at that. Perfect. Alright. Looks like it's uh looks like it's doing its job. Which is only one thing. Should show me what's going on. <laughs> and now I gotta remove the phone. This infotainment system is kind of rough, man, to be honest. Like, these buttons are just, like, really soft. I don't feel like I'm getting, like, any sort of, you know... I am so thankful for heated grips. Look at this beautiful sunrise, though. Wow. Believe God's book, not Facebook. I like that little message. These are the conditions we're writing in, guys. Uh, we got some fog. Still got a beautiful sunrise going on. It's much better at the lake, for sure. Uh, I never make it there on time. Uh, my question for you is, all you adventure riders out there, or just even, you know, street, street bike riders, whatever you want to call them, what do you guys... I'm I'm on a I'm on a budget, right? I don't got these deep pockets like like a lot of these guys do. And I am uh, military, so I uh, as of today I'm not getting paid. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm still on the bike. I'm still I'm still enjoying myself. I'm not going to I'm not going to let that determine the rest of you know, my fun for today. I took my time a little bit last night in preparation for this morning's ride. And I'm, I'm trying to improve my audio so, so that way you, you guys can enjoy the video a lot more. Or just enjoy the video. My other ones suck. One thing's for sure. I wouldn't be able to do this on my sports trip. I would be able to. I would be able to ride, but I wouldn't be this comfortable. No, not. No fucking way ever. I got on the sports trip the other day, and after riding this for um, like two or three days, 
jumped on the 48 because it was warm and dry and, you know, we took it to work. And it was, it just felt so, it felt so different <laughs> in, a, in a good way. But I want to do a comparison video soon between between uh, the adventure bike. Every time I see somebody running, I'm like, yeah, that would be me right there. Look at the uh, the background. Turn around real quick so you guys can see it. Boy, that's cool. If only I could like bust out my camera and like do that, you know? And what the hell was I talking about? Yeah, so budget friendly gear. What do you guys, what do you guys recommend? I'll take your word for it. You guys are the experts, of course. You know, you're on YouTube, duh. Something that's budget friendly for someone who's not getting paid. The comfort level that I have on this motorcycle compared to the discomfort I have on my 48. There's no f***ing way possible that I would, I would wake up and say, you know what, I'm going to go for a f***ing bike ride today. You know what I mean? Look at this right here. Woo, boy. It's nice out here. If I was on the 48 right now, my my entire ass crack would be flooded with with uh, rainwater close the visor so you guys aren't getting destroyed by the wind but in case my audio just sucked you know what exactly is adventure you know what does it mean to everybody it's different for everyone and that's totally acceptable but every day can be you know it's different you know you get up you get on the bike or whatever it is you're doing and and if you decide you know deliberately to go into the woods on a long stretch of road to another state you know somewhere you've never been I think that's considered in itself an adventure just just because it's you know it's unknown you don't know we don't know what to expect you, know, you all you do is just trust your you know your ability to be comfortable with 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 being uncomfortable and I think that's what it boils down to so Maybe I won't go off-road enough. I don't know. That's yet to be seen. And if I, if I don't, will I feel bad about it? Probably not. But that's me. You do you. And I do me. But right now, get on your bike. Man, I, I really do love this bike. I, I hope it doesn't... I hope it doesn't have any issues with, you know, electrical stuff and, like, the TFT, like, not fucking turn it on. Like, that's not cool. <laughs> it's so nice out here, though. Looks like an off-road right there. Oh, there's a gate. <laughs> there's always a gate from the nicest roads. Welcome to South Carolina. It's always fun to get into like another state, huh? You're crossing state lines, it's always fun. There's a turn up ahead. And I think I'll get off and uh, take some photos here, to be honest. I don't think that's a good idea. So, I'm just going to keep going. Not trying to get in a situation out here where I'm picking up this bike off the damn side of the road there. The mud just feels really soft. So, I, uh, learning from your mistakes on YouTube, and I'm not going to do it. Take our photos, ride around a little bit more, drink our Red Bull, throw it in the trash, and then we'll be on our way. 
South Carolina, we are by the dam at the J. Strom Thurman Lake and dam, or dam and lake, sorry. And we just, uh, I decided to pull over here on the side. We're going to take some photos of the bike. And today I brought the 85 mil. Uh, happy I did that. I don't remember putting that in there. But I'm going to swap it out. I'm going to swap out the 16 to 35 and uh, see how much separation we can get out here in the woods with the with the lens. Flip that up. Flip that down. Kind of stage it a little bit. And we'll take some photos. All right, guys, this was our destination today, just out here in the woods. Nobody else is around. The whole place here, so this is a boat ramp. But that's the dam. And I might fly the drone or something. Get a couple shots. Get used to the idea of you know, kind of exercise this whole adventure uh, bike, touring bike for me. Getting it to follow me around and stuff like that. And I mean, look at this. I'm not in the woods, but I'm near the woods. No excuses for me for not being in the woods. I'm just not ready yet, so when the time comes, I'll get in there and make make it happen. So but for now I'm gonna take my helmet off and enjoy the view and then we can get out of here and maybe go get some breakfast or something. It's been a really good morning. All things considered, you know, put this thing up. All things considered with the wet road and the cloudy conditions, it, it's always beautiful in that area regardless. I'm glad you guys come along. I can't wait to get back out. I took a, I took a shit ton of photos, a couple of uh, drone videos and stuff. Yeah, I'm just enjoying my life. This, you know, my connection with God, it's, it grows stronger every time I get out and and just get away and just be alone. Wow. I love doing that. I've been off road a little bit and like I said, I'm definitely not ready to try to tackle some of the stuff that you guys out there do. No way. Yeah, I need to build up these skills and, you know, join the ranks of the professionals out there. In due time. <laughs>